Hey there, this is Carlos. You may have figured out already the previous video was just a small tease, right? Uh, there is a lot more to the code command than just editing a known host file. In the latest Blink version, we renewed our file system. This allowed us to integrate completely with uh, iOS, like with the Files app, but we didn't stop just there. We also integrated with our code command, so not only you can edit local files, but you can also access your more projects. Let me show how that would work. Here in the corner, and the command is the same as you would use for SFTP. You specify here the host and then the route of your project. I'm going to be editing the link code here. We just need to wait a few seconds and all our files can show be, are shown on the left. As you can see, the speed is really good because SFTP is just doing very small operations lag is almost imperceptible. Now, we did not just open VS Code and call it a day. There is one more thing. Well, actually, there are three more things. Number one is an improved VS Code experience. As you can expect from Blink, you have a side-to-side -side screen with just VS Code on it. There are no browser bars in the top. We have improved the touching experience as well. So you can, for example, whenever you open a file, you can see things like everything is working really fast. And finally, things like extensions. You can also see them rendering, even if you're editing from a remote file. Number two is the keyboard. Blink has the best integration of the hardware and software keyboard with your terminal. And we wanted to bring that to code as well. So let me show that to you. I can open a file and the hardware keyboard, something that you don't see usually on the web version is some things like auto repeat are working. And you can also make the commands and a special keys to work as well, like opening the command play. One thing that I enjoy, especially some of you already know, I'm an Emacs user. So I have an Emacs extension that gives me proper Emacs shortcuts so I can use Control X, Control F from the keyboard to open another file. Or I can split the window. I can move between the different buffers that I have. And then when I'm done, just close them. Then we have the software keyboard. We has one of the best integrations of software keyboard, especially for key modifiers. And those are still working here. Like for example, I can go to the previous line just using Control P. On control F for the next line. The, the arrows are working as well. And not only that, but also our command key that is especially important on VS Code for all the shortcuts, guess what? It's working too. And last, number three, is that everything that works will also work on our VS Codes. Like for example, those that provide you GitHub. So you can have all the cool features that Blink gives you for code support and integration, like the keyboard. You can use them on GitHub, code spaces, you can use them on code server, and you can use them on GitPad as well. It's all very, very exciting, and I'm sure a lot of you may have a lot of questions. Please send them over away, and I will see you in the next video.